Hey everyone, what's up? It's Jeter, and welcome to episode 10 of the Oldham Expedition. In this season finale, we are playing our last two matches of the league season. We are at home against Plymouth, who are third in the league, and we are away against Grimsby Town to end the season. We are in the midst of a very tight title race where we are on level points with Forest Green, who are chasing us. So hopefully we can get six points from these last matches. We hold the cards in our hand. If we can do our part, we win the title. Otherwise, we will probably finish second. Let's get into it, and come on the Laddocks, let's win this title. So before we get into what has happened off-camera between the last video and this one, there's a couple housekeeping things that I want to go through really quickly. First, if you are watching this during the YouTube premiere, there will be the FM Community Draft matches going on right after this video releases. We're going to go straight from this premiere off to our Twitch stream to see if we can win the FM Community Draft. So please come through and check out the Twitch channel, which will be in the description below and also in the chat. And if you're watching this behind time or just catching up on the series, please do feel free to catch up on the series. There are 10 episodes now of this of this series, counting this episode, and we are finishing Season 1 here, so this is a perfect time to get yourself caught up. So, please make sure that you are keeping yourself caught up with what we got going on. In order to do that, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on the video to support it, and hop in the comments and let me know what you've thought of this first season, if you thought it's been successful, what you've enjoyed, what you haven't enjoyed, and the stuff that I can work on. But, without further ado, let's get into what has happened off camera, and a lot has happened off camera. In that last episode, we played the Swindon and Walsall matches, and since then, we have continued our unbeaten run to end this season. Couple one one draw or a couple scored one score draw one nil nil draw, but a bunch of really good wins, which included two hat three hat tricks, a Danny Rowe hat trick against Northampton, a Philippe Morace hat trick against Stevenage, and a three nil win against Cambridge, where Segbe Azangpo also had a hat trick. So three hat tricks and three back to back matches, and now we play Plymouth and Grimsby. If we look quickly at the league table. We have already secured ourselves promotion. That was in the game after our last episode. We got very close in the last episode, but we officially secured it off camera. However, we are locked into a title race. We are on the same amount of points as Forest Green, both on 95. We do have the better goal difference. So I think that if we can get, uh, I mean, obviously six points and we uh, guarantee ourselves the title unless they make up the 15 goal differential swing. But especially with the result against Plymouth, this would pretty much secure that we are in a very good position. So six points obviously does it. We want all six today, so hopefully we can get in there and do that. But we'll see what happens after this first match. In it, this is going to be t the team that we are using. In goal, it's going to be Woods. It'll be a back four of Mills, Weider, Piergiani, and Iacovitti. Our midfield duel will be Misulu and Ngesson because McCann has a little bit of a knock, and I don't want to risk him. On the right, we're going to go with Ramazani with 22 goals on the season. Maurice through the middle, Smith on the left, and Segbe Azangpo up front. Our bench is De La Paz, Hamer, Nepomuceno, Rowe, Egert, Silla, and Wilson. Quickly looking at the match preview, we are in the blue. They are in the green. We're playing at home at Boundary Park. 8,750 tickets sold. If we win this match, we have a really good chance of getting ourselves that title. In their match, Forest Green are at home against Cambridge, who are currently sitting in 15th, so I back them to do well in that match. So we probably need all three points from this one. Let's go out and get it, and come on the Laddocks. In the locker room, we are going to use the team talk. This is a great opportunity to show all the experts that they've been right to back you up. That's worked for some of our strike force. In our defense, I'm going to tell them that I have faith in them, which has also worked. We'll end the team talk. I have a quick little tunnel interview, and then we'll get out onto the pitch, and hopefully we can get three points here. The boys are out on the pitch here in Boundary Park. I think this is our last home match of the season as well, so hopefully we can end our season here at Boundary Park on a high. Let's do it. Come on. We have a throw in here early on. It is Mills. Mills throws in to Ngesson. Back to Mills. Now Iacovitti. Into the box. Segbe Azangpo. Header goal. Come on. Segbe Azangpo's 23rd of the season. He's been so good up front for us, and we take an early lead. That puts us in the lead on points, and especially because it looks like Forest Green also have the lead in their match. This is important. They have a free kick, though. Grant over it. What will Grant do? Wood saves it onto the... Oh. Wood's pushed it onto the post, and then it goes in off of his back. 
Woods gets a hand on it and it hits the woodwork and then bounces off of Woods' back and goes in and counts as an own goal. We fall down to second because uh, Forrest Green are in the lead. They have another free kick to Silva into the box. Edwards. Edwards header goes just over. Ramazani's off the pitch. We have a corner into the box. Yakovidi just wide. Come on. At halftime, it is 1-1. We score our goal very well. They score a really unfortunate own goal. Or unfortunate for us. Very fortunate for them. Forest Green are also drawing, though. So if things stay the same, Destiny is still in our own hands. However, I don't expect that it will stay this way. And I think we're going to need all three points from this match. So hopefully we can turn this around. Looking at the match stats, we've been good. We haven't been creative enough, in my opinion. Only one shot on target is not enough. And that's confirmed by the fact that we've struggled for possession in their half. In the dressing room, I'm not going to tell the players that we've been good enough. I'm going to tell them that I'm not happy. Uh, so we'll end that team talk. In the tactics, I'm going to up our tempo a little bit. And the other thing that I'm going to do is Ramazani has a knock and is shattered. So we're going to move Maurice out to that right wing, move Nguesson up, and then bring on Silla. So those will be our changes. Let's get into the second half, and hopefully we can get a win here. Come on. Early highlight, Palmer with the goal kick. Plays it down to De Silva. Now Sawyer. Back to De Silva. Backinson. Grant. Now Edwards. Edwards puts it away. It's 2-1. They're up. They take the lead. Just like that, Joe Edwards puts it away, and we are 2-1 down. They've had two shots on target. Scored both of them. Really unfortunate. I mean, it's a good cross by Connor Grant to find Edwards at that back post. And he puts it away well, but this is super unfortunate. We have a free kick. Maurice into the box. Silla header. Palmer saves. No problem. Will there be another highlight from this? Palmer still has it. Punts it long. Mills should get there. Woods. Why does the game look choppy? Still Woods. Piergiani. Back to Woods. Iacovitti now. Over the top. Grant plays it to Ameson, and they punt it back over the top. This looks awful. I don't know why our game is stuttering so much here, but Silla. Over the top to Segway as Ankpo. Takes it down. His shot is blocked. Ameson blocks his finish. Forest Green are still drawing right now. So one goal would presumably be enough to take us back onto level terms. All we need is an equalizer at the minute. De Silva with a throw in. Backinson. Now Ameson. Grant. Back to Backinson. Now out to De Silva. De Silva to Grant. Grant. De Silva. Edwards. Edwards has another. This has been a terrible showing for us. Sinking without a trace. 3-1 down. They've had three shots on target. This is so unfortunate for us, but we haven't had any creativity. Throw in. 65th minute. Turn it around, boys. And guess on. Back to Mills. Maurice. Into the box. Grant heads clear. Backinson. Iacovitti now Smith. Smith tackled. Silla, Iacovitti, plays into the box. Back post, Maurice. Maurice hits the woodwork. It's just not been our match. They're playing a five at the back, which must be noted because we've struggled against five at the back with this formation. I don't think there's enough attacking to break them down with this formation. We've struggled against it all season. That's the thing that we've really struggled with. Iacovitti, now Misulu. They've hit us on the break well, but we still have it. Can we turn this around? Misulu, tackled by De Silva, but gets it back. Still Misulu into the box. It's blocked. Now Backinson clears. They're going to have a break. Jeffcott. Sarsevich. Or Sarsevich. Out to Edwards. Down to Hardy. Ryan Hardy's offsides. It's the exact same goal that they've scored for the third time running. But this time it's disallowed by a fractional offsides call. I'd actually argue that he's onside there. And even so, it's the exact same goal, hitting it from that little edge of the D. Throw in, Mills finds Misulu. Switches to Silla. 
Now Smith. Smith running at defense. Still Smith. Taken down by Edwards. And we will have a penalty here. This could be our route back into the match. We've only had three shots on target. But we will have a penalty to try and bring it back to 3-2. Maurice will step up to take it. What do you say, Felipe? He puts it in the bottom corner. We have a path back into this one. One more goal, and we are back on level terms and back on the same amount of points as Forrest Green. They have a corner, Grant. Into the box. We head clear. Hardy will have it. Let's press him. Ameson. Ingesson. Now Backinson. Mills down to Maurice. Mills. Misilu. Mills. Silla. Maurice. Into Ingesson. Great build up here. Through to Segbe Azankpo. Put it away, son. Come on! Get in, Desire Segbe Azankpo. 24th of the season. We bring it back to level terms like we deserve. What a finish. What a match this has been. 3-3. Three, three. They take it to 3-1, and we draw it back to 3-3. Three, three. Great finish by Segbe Azankpo at the near post. I was not expecting that from him. And I got a notification that right now, Cambridge United are doing us a massive favor in beating Forest Green 2-1. If things stay the same, we have a one-point gap at the top of the table heading into the last match. Let's keep it up. Come on, boys. Nothing's going to happen. It ends 3-3. Three, three. Nothing else happens. The match between Forest Green and Cambridge United ended 2-1. So we are now one point clear of Forest Green with one match to go. A win guarantees the title, no matter what. In the dressing room, I'm going to tell the players I'm happy with that. They turned it around at the end, so I'll give them praise because I want them to be happy heading into this last match against Grimsby. Everyone, cross your fingers, pray to the FM gods. We have a genuine chance here to win this title. It's just going to take one more performance. Let's see if we can make it happen. So before we get into this next match, my coach is recommending that we have a hold, that we hold a team meeting to give the players some words of encouragement ahead of this last match. Our options are we were expected to win the title this season, which is not true. We put ourselves in the in good position. We step out on that pitch, become Oldham legends. Here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say I understand that it's not it's hard not to feel the pressure of needing a win on the last day to secure the title, but I feel the best chance of getting the win we need is for you to stay cool and play your normal game. Most of the players have agreed with me. A couple of them are worried about downplaying it, but most of them I didn't want to put too much pressure on them. That's the sort of overall reaction I was hoping for. That has helped with most of their morale, tried to calm them down a little bit because I don't want them freaking out thinking that I expect them to win a title that we were not expected to win. We're going to keep progressing towards this match, and when we get there, I will show you the team that we have picked. Okay, this is the team that we have picked for this match against Grimsby. It'll be Woods and Goal, Mills, Weeder, Egert, and Borthwick Jackson as that back four. Misulu and McCann are the midfield duo. We are going with a not fully fit Ramazani on that right wing because of how good he's been for us. Maurice will be through the middle. Smith will be on the left. And up front, we are going with Segbe Azankbo. Our bench is Delapaz, Iacoviti, Nepomuceno, Rowe, Pirgiani, Silla, and Dernley. So we have a substitute option for Ramazani should his fitness start lacking. In the match preview, we are heavily favored for this match, even though we're away at Blundell Park. Hopefully we can get all three points against Grimsby, secure that title, but if not, Forest Green are away against Colchester, who are above Grimsby in the league. So both of us have very similar matches. We have the upper hand. Let's see this out. Let's get three points, and let's lift that trophy. Come on, boys. I had to make a quick change here. I brought Hamer onto the bench for, uh, where is he? For Iacoviti, because... Hamer is homegrown club, and we have to have one homegrown club player in the team. So that's the one change. Other than that, everything's the same. Let's get into it. Sorry for the quick cut, but let's do it. Come on. Okay, in this team talk, we are going to tell the players, come on, lads, win this one for the fans and seal the title for us. That's given some of them some confidence and some motivation. For the other ones, I'm going to tell them I have faith in them. We'll end that team talk there. I have one more tunnel interview, and then we'll get the match kicked off. Come on, the Laddicks. The match kicks off. Segbe Azankpo kicks it back to Egert. Now Weeder. Early highlight here. Out to Ramazani. The young winger. Back to Misilu. Now out to Mills on an overlap. 
Mills into the box, Pollock heads clear. Misulu down to Smith. Smith to McCann. Long shot from McCann. What a goal! 25 seconds in. Chris McCann with his seventh of the season. That is a wonderful hit by Chris McCann to take the lead. If things stay the same, if we can hold this lead, we win the title. And Chris McCann has popped up with that to give us a lead. What a hit from the former Atlanta United player. I want to say captain, but I don't know if he has the armband. Regardless, 1-0 up. Another highlight here. Borthwick Jackson. Maurice McCann. The goal scorer. Misi Lou. Back to McCann. Now Misi Lou. Mills. Mills. McEwen saves. Now Smith. Borthwick Jackson into the box. Second ball. Mills puts it away. 2-0 up in three minutes what is going on Mills's first goal of the season I don't know if that's his first goal for the club but we are up 2-0 here with four minutes gone and if this stays the same we will lift the title here on the final day come on McEwen with a goal kick plays it long we head down Glennon Glennon back to Pollock Pollock tries to play it over the top and finds Tylee or Tilly Tilly's taken down by Weeder and we concede a brainless penalty Vernum steps up to take it and puts it in the bottom right corner. It is 2-1. Senseless penalty there from Weeder, and we give them a route back into this match that we did not need to give them. They have a free kick now, right. Oh, Woods, you have to do better. Just like that, it's 2-2. We've done nothing all match. We give them a penalty. They hit a free kick from deep. Woods should have done so much better, and just like that, they take the lead. Woods has to do better on that. 2-2 at halftime. We are dominating so far, but that doesn't matter. Forest Green are drawing with Colchester, so right now the fact that we are drawing doesn't matter. We score two great goals early on, but then they get a penalty and score a free kick. We've been all over them, and we deserve to be winning, but we don't have that lead right now. We need to go out there and create another goal and stop conceding stupid goals. In the dressing room, I'm going to tell the players assertively I'm far from pleased. And the team talk there. I'm not going to change anything. I think we're in a good enough position to win this. My heart is racing right now. I want this title so badly, so hopefully we can go out there and get it. Come on, boys. Highlight here. Tilly with it. Come on. Someone tackle him. Oh, my God. That ball was bouncing around in the box. There was no commentary there. I didn't even know what was going on. That ball was bouncing around in the box. And Woods totally bails us out. Hessenthaler, corner in. Woods claims it. Woods spares his blushes on not saving that free kick and keeps us at least drawing. First substitution here, Ramazani is going to make way for Dernley. Ramazani's tired and has played a 6.3, so hopefully making that sub will give us a little bit more attacking quality. We have a corner, Maurice. Into the box. Segbe Zankbo, Weeder hits the woodwork. Oh my god, how did we not put that away? Okay, so I've just checked this, and Colchester are winning right now. So Forest Green needs to score two goals in the last 15 minutes in order to take the lead. But we are still drawing 2-2. Hopefully we can keep it up, and please let's find a third goal so that we don't have to depend on other results. Highlight here, 60, 76th minute, Mills throws into Dernley. Through to Maurice. Maurice rounds his man, plays it through to Mills. Come on, Zach. Finds McCann. McCann takes it down, finds Smith. Smith back to McCann. Smith, Borthwick Jackson, back to McCann. Come on! Chris McCann bags another long shot. What a performance from Chris McCann. That's his second long shot of the match. It's 3-2. We take the lead that we deserve, and Chris McCann has been on something else today. What a hit from him. He gets it back from Borthwick Jackson and just levels it into the top corner. Nothing the keeper can do, and we get the lead that we deserve. We have a corner. Maurice, put it into the box, find, find someone's head. Glennon heads clear, Borthwick Jackson, play it back to him. Or into the box, Smith, it's blocked, Hessenthaler now. Recover, right. Segbe Zankpo steals it. How did he not put that away? 86th minute, we are going to make a change. We're going to bring Maurice off and bring him back as a center back. So we're going to bring on Piergiani as a fifth center back. We're also going to drag those wingers back to... Um, we're going to bring them a little bit deeper so that they're not so attacking. It's a 5-4-1 with 
the Segway is Zonkpo up there alone. We're also going to put it on Cautious. We have Time Wasting on. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm also going to uh, regroup and not counter press. Confirm those changes. Four minutes left. See this out, boys. Please. Last substitution. Mills is shattered. We're going to bring on Hamer just to try and kill some time. One minute left of stoppage time. Come on. We have a highlight here, 94th minute. Please, just end the match. Not like this, FM. Not like this. Right. He scuffs his finish. That's fine. End the match. We're four points clear, so it shouldn't matter, and it ends. We lift the title. Come on! Get in! What a season for the boys. Oh. <sighs> I'm like not even celebrating that hard because I was just so stressed in that match. It ends up not mattering because Colchester win 3-1 against Forest Green on the last day. So no matter what we did, we would have won that title. <sighs> I'm going to take a deep breath. Now we're going to start singing. Come on. Celebrate good times. Come on. Oh my God. My heart is literally pounding out of my chest. I also can't sing any louder because it's midnight here. In my house, and my family is asleep, so I can't actually celebrate that much. In the dressing room, we're going to tell the players passionately, congratulations, enjoy these success. These are the moments you'll remember when you hang up your boots. And the team talk. We hit continue, and we should get an email here saying that Oldham Athletic have won the League 2 title here in the 2019-2020 season. And there it is. Oldham Athletic have won the Skybet League 2 title. You all saw what happened in Berlin. I got sacked halfway through the season. I was getting called a fraud. I was getting called a cheat. I was getting called a fake. All of those sorts of things. I got booed out of Germany. We come here to England. We come to Oldham Athletic. They accept us with open arms. And we have written it in the stars. We are going up. Say, we are going up. Come on. So that is that. We end up winning the title here on the final day. We end up finishing on 99 points. With 30 wins, 9 draws, and 7 defeats, it's been an incredible season, but we have a lot of preparation to do to get ourselves ready for League One. So, with that in mind, normally the next episode would come out tomorrow. However, to give myself a little bit of time and to give everyone else time to catch up in case people haven't caught up yet, I'm going to delay that episode's release to Wednesday to make sure that we are actually ready for uh, League One. I don't want us to go up and instantly get relegated, so I'm going to take my time trying to find some good transfers, making sure that our squad is up to scratch for League One competition. Hopefully we can keep it up in there. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Also hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. If you're enjoying the series so far, hop in the comments and let me know what you've thought about this title winning season. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I sure hope I haven't disappointed anyone with a title winning season. Apparently I'm disappointing the board. It's only a B on the head coach performance. But that's fine. We'll, we'll survive. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Please check out the FMCD if you are watching this live on the premiere. And other than that, I will see you on Wednesday for our next video. Have a great uh, day, night, whenever you're watching this. I'll talk to you soon. And peace.